Hi guys, you're welcome to Covet Magazine and you're welcome to today's video. If you're a new subscriber, you're welcome to the Covet Magazine gang. And if you're just meeting Covet Magazine the first time and you've not subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Go ahead and subscribe and don't miss out on all the fun things. Fashion, beauty, lifestyle, entertainment, you'll find everything here on our channel. Hey. <laughs> anyway, so in today's video, we're making a stop at um, the Spring Summer 2025 runway. We all know it's the Fashion Week season and um, it's the Spring Summer 2025 collection. Can you imagine? Spring Summer 2025 is already here. Anyway, so anyway, so um, we made a stop at a few major brands. We cannot visit all the designer brands, we know. We all know that, but at least major brands that have been here for a very long time and their runway decides the trend. Yes, their runway decides the trend. We all always look forward to their trend and um, the, the fashion, the, the style looks all, always inspire our look. I'm sure we all know those designer. Prada, hey. <laughs> Fasashi, hey. Dolce & Gabbana, hey. <laughs> so all those major, major um, designers that have been around for a very long time. And we spotted a lot of trends, a lot of trends and all. We also have our reservation about what the style, about some style looks and all. We're here to talk about the style looks on the runway. So, and we're also going to talk about the designs and the overall look together. Yeah, I hope that makes sense. So we, we, we spotted a few trends from fur to metallics to eye-wisted trousers to rose print and all and all. So without wasting too much of time, let's dive into it. All right, welcome back. So I'm going to put on my glasses and we're going to talk about the runway. We're going to talk about the, the, the style looks on the runway, Spring Summer 2025 runway. It's major and I can't stop talking about, I can't just keep stop saying Spring Summer 2025. <laughs> Anyway, so we look forward to what the designers have to have to uh, have to give us in the new season. What do they have? What's their interpretation of of what the new season is saying and all? And I believe, in my own opinion, we as fashion lovers, we're ready for anything modern. Modern look is what we're looking forward to. And if you're going to play with anything that has to do with um, uh, vintage or old fashioned look and all, it, it has to be a modern vintage. So we're ready for that. We're ready for the futuristic look and all and everything. So we're looking into, we're, we're looking into the runway where, and we hope that the runway actually give us all that. Yes. So we made a stop at Dolce & Gabbana. We love Dolce & Gabbana. Dolce & Gabbana has been around for a very long time. The look on the runway, I'm not sure what trend, what actually inspired, but I can tell you the runway is definitely inspired by Madonna. Yes, we all know Madonna. The Madonna with the pointy bra look and all, with the with the blonde hair, coily blonde hair look and all. That's all. That is all that inspired the look, and we love it. I believe Madonna. I believe the the pointy bra from uh, from Madonna from Madonna's um look was back in 1990 when she performed in one of her shows, and the bra is actually it was from the 1950s. Yes. So Dolce and Gabbana actually stopped. But it stopped at both 1950s and 1990 and merged it together to make Spring Summer 2025. Ah, yay! <laughs> anyway, <laughs> we love the look and all the pointed bra. I mean, with the pointed bra alone, I'm not wearing any regular dress anymore. The dress has to be with pointed bra or you go home okay okay <laughs> all right so we made a note on a few things that we noted we spotted on the runway and i think that you should also note this as well just in case you need inspiration for your style look in the in the nearest future which is um spring summer 2025 is just like a few months away i mean once march 2025 is here we're already in december christmas is already here by the time we're done celebrating christmas we're ready for 2025 and by the time we step into 2025 March 2025 is here, which is when spring starts, and that is where fashion starts. Okay, <laughs> all right. So, anyway, so we went to the um to the runway and we spotted a few trains. We spot we spotted for we spotted share. We spotted the lace train. We also spot, we spotted the corset, the rose print. The rose print is something that just um that just uh, uh became a big train. This was from spring summer 2024 2024 runway. So I'm, and I believe it's still uh, making a strong um statement on the in the spring summer 2025 runway. So. 
So the rose strain is to this time around is actually rose print from uh, Dolce and Gabbana runway. So the spotted trend is from Dolce and Gabbana runway. Yes, Dolce and Gabbana spring 2025 runway. So there's eye waisted trousers, which is something that's also from um, spring summer 2024. There's power suiting. Power suiting has been around for, for a very long time, for forever, and I don't think it's going on. It's going anywhere anytime soon, and it has to be baggy. It has to be oversized. Oversized power suiting, so going strong, and it's so beautiful. And I love the way the uh, the way Dolce and Gabbana actually did its own. Um, uh, incorporated the pointy bra. That's it incorporated the pointed bra to it and that's and i believe that's the future that's that's the trend right now and i see that trend going viral i see many high street brands from pretty little thing to mango to many brands playing with that pointy bra look oh my god i see it in many of our dresses i see it in many of our suit looks and i also see it as a, as a, just a fashion bra alone paired with like something oversized in the bottom from trousers to tr to skirts to um to from trousers to to skirt and all yes i see it that way all right so we saw the um we saw the hot pant hot pant is also going it's going strong on the runway on on um, dolce and gabbana's um runway and we also see the we saw the outerwear lingerie well, the outerwear lingerie has been around for like two seasons now and i believe that um it's not going away anyway soon and i dolce and gabbana actually played with a different um uh, a different pattern when it comes to lingerie it has to do with you know the pattern we get from corset in the in the olden days where we pull the corset from the back and all he actually incorporated it into its dresses on the side and also in the shoes as well in the uh, in the mary jane shoes as well so gorgeous and the dress also finished with like pointed bra and that's it it looks so beautiful it looks so beautiful so um we also saw that as well and we we, we are listening and we also saw satin as well satin is going strong actually was a big thing on dolce and gabbana's runway so what about the beauty look the beauty look is more like um old hollywood look yes we call it old hollywood look it's all all madonna's look honestly all madonna's look so old hollywood look with um with blonde with blonde hair yes old hollywood look is just very simple like um a no, barely their makeup nude eyes nude lips or so or very soft pink lips and all with some um, uh, with co full coiled um blonde hair and that's it that look is gorgeous i love it we should play with that look this season it's so beautiful and it and it looked well from a for for every skin tone yes it looked well looked so beautiful on every skin tone yeah from fair to very deep to deep dark it's that beautiful blonde oh gorgeous love it And the cheeks. So the, I was I was describing the makeup. The makeup is belly them uh, belly them makeup look with pink lips along with um, with belly their cheeks as well. They're very very soft cheeks as well. So it reminds me of Madonna. It reminds me of uh, Marilyn Monroe and all. So that's the beauty look. And for the for the accessories, what is trending in the accessory area on Dolce and Gabbana's runway? We saw the box bag. Gorgeous. I love the box bag. Ah oh, oh gosh. When I saw the bag, I'm like, you know what? I need to grab this. I'm gonna grab it. Let's go. <laughs> yeah. All right. So I saw the box bag. The box bag is beautiful and it's going on strong. We also saw the um. We saw the, the we saw the Mary Jane shoes. I mentioned that already. It's it has this corset um detailed the corsetry this detailed to it that's so beautiful. And we also saw the mini bags as well. The mini bags are so sexy, so beautiful and all. And I've also mentioned the pointed bra part of the accessories that's actually tra um, trending. Um, the, in the jewelry area we have, we saw the jumbo the jumbo um chunky jewelry. It's um it's raining supreme on the runway. We saw the black crystal, it, the chunky gold um the chunky gold uh, jumbo jewelry. It has this detail of um this black crystal detail on it. Gorgeous. It's the trend that's from spring summer 2024 and it's still going on strong in this season. So like I, I left my note like I said in the beginning of the of, um of today, to this video I said I'm not wearing any regular dress anymore. It has to be with pointy bra, pointy cups, or you go home. You know, and we've seen a lot of cupped cupped suits suit looks, cupped uh, dresses a lot in 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 the past seasons and all in the past recent seasons and all. So with this pointy bra, it's just an addition to what what we need. I can imagine what Bowman would do with this from next season. This pointy bra look, ah oh, gosh. 
it's going to go wild Bowman is very is very is very wild when it comes to his design he never lacks inspiration anyway so back to Do Dolce and Gabbana yeah. so like I said earlier I see this the train the pointed bra trend going going viral I see the, I see it not going anywhere anytime soon because I I'm loving it right now and I do not want it to go anywhere and that is what trend does to us anyway the, 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 when we see trend it's like oh, I want to have it I want to have it it's, that jolt just drives you crazy but then when you're done with it you just eat it <laughs> Like pure eight, I just throw it to the back of the, the back of the wardrobe. So that is what um, uh, trend does. So we love trend, and we definitely we have fun with it this spring summer season. <laughs> I I have a feeling it's a trend, but I don't want it to go anywhere. I do not want it to go too soon. Just like the way power suiting, it's holding, it's it's holding its its space in the fashion industry. I want it to be able to hold its space as well. But especially when it comes to nightwear, nightwear pointed brand, or maybe you know, I don't know. I wonder what other designers are going to to do with it in in the next few seasons. I wonder what, <laughs> because it's only Dolce and Gabbana that took that uh, brave step in this uh, in this season, as far as I'm concerned. Maybe I mean we've not seen all the runways yet. We still have some some um, some designers uh, uh, doing their presentation and all. But in, in the meantime, with what I can see uh, I'm going to express it here on COVID magazine <laughs> all right so we have reservation yes we always have reservation COVID magazine has a bit of big mouth we say it's it, the brand will all the covets will always have its takes in many things in as much as it's not it's not always a bad thing anyway it's just a way to to make things better okay so we have a reservation and we said that we've um, we've had enough of rush dress so Dolce and Gabbana played with a bit of satin satin dresses but in all rushed it's like the old dress is all rushed and the model puts a uh, add it's a blonde head on and all yes we, uh, the, the look is beautiful don't get me wrong but we've had enough of it it's we do not want it anymore I think I've seen a uh, Bowman did it about a few seasons ago rushed if I'm right but we've seen many runways with a lot of rushed dresses and in satin it's just it's very old hollywood of course but we've, we've had enough of it I, anyway but and some people might still like it i don't know but I, I, we've had enough of it tr tr truly we, we, we're not looking into rushed dress anymore all right so i said that it had to have a, a new take like um a part of the of the design to be rushed say for example if we have like a shared dress and the waist is rushed that's very it's very easy so we want it very soft yes not that the rushed is going is to be thrown away the, the trend is still going on strong but it's just that to wear it to, to wear it all to design a dress all the way rushed it's just so scary looks like a cotton <laughs> but if it's a mini dress you might get away with, get away with it but if it's a maxi dress it looks like a cotton <laughs> But anyway, so it's beautiful. I mean, it's beautiful in its own way, but we're tired of it. We're not, we're not ready to wear it anymore. So what's next? What else did I say? Oh yeah, the, I saw a dress. I saw a, a a rose print dress on Dolce and Gabbana's runway, and um, what it 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 is that it has like a pointy. It it does it does not have a pointy br uh, brow on it and all. It's just like it's alter neck. Let me let me look at that design again so that um I can have my i can let you know how i feel oh yeah it's a rose print dress with it has the pointy bra inside then it's it has like a alter neck like alter neck right on top of it it's a bit too messy for me so i i do not like the dress that much and all but you know i'd rather wear with with the with seeing the pointy bra it's just it just put this um, design to the back of the queue yes it put the design to the back of the queue it's not that like it's not wearable it's wearable it's just that i've seen i've seen something better from the start of the runway so why would i go for this <laughs> so that's my reservation about that dress why go for that anyway so i also saw i said whatever is going on in the boob Area is just to okay yeah uh, and all right so it's, I said why not make um, a rose dress in a high waisted in a, a, why not make it the rose dress in a high waisted skirt why not make it a high waisted um rose skirt with the pointy bra on top yes that would have looked so better much better instead of the of the big one pointed bra inside the printed um share share rose print dress and with alter neck it's just it's just a no no i've seen better so we, we're in the era of the pointed bra and we want something new so doing that it's just no it does not work anyway so we move on so i said that what is going on on the boob area is just no no and untidying so i said that it's a love and eight in the sheer look and it has to be done with um, 
it has to to do with the outer neck okay there was a sheer um there was a this black corsetry shade dress that we saw also with pointy bra but with outer neck so the outer neck along with the pointy bra along with the corsetry is just too much for the look and also it's made everything it's made everything not so a disaster yes i would say that take how the take how the outer neck away and leave the pointy bra and we love the corsetry detail and all and that's just enough for dolce and gabbana so the the outer neck is not so much of dolce and gabbana it's just too much it's too much i said it's too much edge going on around the the upper part of the be of the look and that is it that is our, that's all the reservation we have about the uh about the about the runway we love the trend we love the style it's a it's a yes 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 all the looks are so beautiful from from hot pants to to play suit and all all done with the pointed bra some with pointed bra and some without and all that pointed bra is just a yes and it's just just put some dolce and gabbana to the top so i i'm i'm yet to see who is going to who is going to get to that top in this season this spring summer 2024 season anyway so we now made we after after playing with dolce and gabbana we went to bormon we love bormon here at covet magazine bormon Bowman is never out of trend. It's, it's never out of um, inspiration and we always look forward to what the brand has to say. We always look forward to what the brand has to say in its runway. And then, boom, we spot that. I mean, when I when I went straight to the brand's website and I sort of, and I loaded the, um, the, um, the Spring Summer 2025 runway um, images and I saw, the first look I saw, I'm like, <laughs> Catch the spirit! I do you, know, you understand that feeling that tip top feeling like oh, this is good yes <laughs> that's exactly how i felt when i saw the look i'm like oh no you know what all the problems of my life is gone is all the problems of my life is gone this dress would definitely change my mood this dress would definitely win my battles what do you think <laughs> oh gosh i love it so we went to Bowman and we saw the first dress we saw was this like a face like a face you know the you know the popular forget me not um of photo frame and all it's very similar to it it's like a photo like um a face a face print uh, he made gorgeous merged with the with, a, with the classic Bowman point head um shoulder pad as well as exaggerated waist and sequin and all it's so beautiful beautifully well done i tell i'm telling you we we are ready for something new we are ready for something new and Bowman gave us that dolce and gabbana also did that with the pointed bra mm. Bowman also gave us that with the face print in in in, in evening wear, in in a beautiful evening wear with sequins all over it and yet you're not doing too much yes he's not doing too much with exaggerated waist yet not doing too much and it's all like a, a mini dress gorgeous gorgeous you can't go wrong with it and i saw when i saw it i'm like oh yes i'll take it i'll definitely buy it beautiful you know we spotted a few trend on the on the brand runway and i'm going to mention them so we spotted like i said earlier bold prints we saw the bold prints we saw the sequins we saw maxi dresses we saw jumpsuits we saw leather in short and in tailored white leg trousers well tailored white leg trousers i'm yet to see a leather that is well tailored in the white leg trousers form perfect length and all it's not flared and all so gorgeous i love it I said that the pointy shoulder pad is it's been around since we know Bowman. When did Bowman started the ball the pointy shoulder pad? I think it started about about a few seasons. I'm talking about three to five seasons ago. Yes, it's still holding on to it, and it's become like the brand's um, classic, um, classic look. So the pointy shoulder pad is still very going on strong. Exaggerated waist gorgeous it's the trend also part of the trend satin we saw satin and he did the satin so beautifully he, did, uh, he actually opted for like a um, neutral neutral look satin and it's well beautiful i love the starting from the color shade to the design it's well done i love it definitely love it it, it also played with sheer as well so it's not the only brand that played with satin. Uh, Dolce and Gabbana also played with satin. So it's definitely the trend. He also played with sheer. Dolce and Gabbana also played with sheer. Definitely the trend. So he also played with cold shoulder. He played with cold shoulder, and I love the fact that it actually went for like this pointy. Uh, the point one 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 arm is like a pointed um, shoulder pad, uh, and it's long sleeve, and the rest is just like um, a symmetric placed right on top of the shoulder. Gorgeous. So a mixture of both together. Mm. 
yes yes that's the way you do it if you like to wear your if you're rebellious with your style look that's the way you wear it that's the way you wear it so um there's also grunge going on on the runway as well and the grunge is more like um there's this boots boots look with um with a skirt along with trousers and all and all so it's giving us that grunge it, uh, i saw a model wore, wore it when it's all like um it's dressed down the look at first it was a eight for me i mean i do not know i do not like so much of rock and roll and all so the model wore like um the point like a pointed top it has this gold um chain detail ar around it along with the skirt mini skirt with trousers right underneath the skirt as well as a boot uh, uh, like ankle boot and i'm like what, what what sort of messy look is this and all but then when i looked at it compared with other color because the mother also wore, wore the same style look in red and all it looked so beautiful so i went back to the back to the black version of it i'm like oh possibly it's the rock and roll grunge look and all and all so it's not bad we love it it's also trending as well so if you're in if you're rebellious with your style look you go, you go that way yes it's definitely welcome so the jewelry the jury the chunky bold jumbo jury is definitely taking a huge stride this season um bowman also played with chunky bold jury and it's in, in the form of um of bracelet and all so gorgeous so uh, in the accessories what strength what did we spot what trend did you spot box bag box bag is definitely a thing this um this is for coming season so look out for that we saw oversized bag oversized bag has been around for a while i mean victoria beckham did it uh, like like mad you can feel you can fit a, a whole human being in victoria beckham's um oversized bag uh, back in the, about two seasons ago and all so it's still going on 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 um strong although not as big as uh at so victoria beckham but victoria beckham actually kicked asses in, in during that time when she came up with her own oversized um, bag so look how oversized bag we love oversized bag in summer season and so look out for that so uh, what reservation did we have we have a reservation we said uh, the suit look is uh, is dated there was a suit look that the model wore it's it's like a cropped suit look with um a cropped blazer with pointy shoulder pad and then tailor trousers and then maybe like a beige a beige uh blouse for as or something like that in the book right in the right inside the blazer i'm like this is a dated look it's yes it's it's beautiful with the point it's edgy yes yes it's very edgy and all with the crop blazer along with the pointy with the pointy shoulder pants and all but it's very it's very detailed i mean we're in the era whereby we're wearing pointy bra with the with beautiful oversized blazer on top of it and a gorgeous tailor trousers and you know what i mean so <laughs> what's Bowman doing with this look so back to the back of the queue back of the queue <laughs> So we have reservation of that. We believe it's two dates. Bowman, Bowman 2020 or something, or 2021 or 22 or something like that. Not no Bowman Spring Summer 2025. I mean, can you see the dress? Does the dress not say everything to you? You know? <laughs> anyway, so... So we said um, we love the fresh talk church of your of oh yeah <laughs> and while i was looking at all the runway and i was going wild looking at all the runway looking at all the fashion pieces and all and the style looks i said uh, bowman we love the fresh touch of your anointing you know catch the spirit if you are in if you are in it with me catch the spirit you might not be able to understand it now until when you see the um the runway and this is going to be after we've talked about our reservations about the runways then you'd see what i mean so catch the spirit when you get there <laughs> anyway all right so there was a look that we sp we spotted as well it's it's called this um a coming to america um look i'm sure we have all seen the coming to america look gold gold and black and all and all so the model was something like that of course with bowman touch on, on it and all it has like a gold uh, top like a gold, a gold top half cut out yes cut out gold cut out top as well as the beautiful well well weaved or knitted i do not know well detailed uh what's it called skirts and it with exaggerated um hips and all and it give it just reminds me going to america coming to america coming to america movie and everything and i'm like you know what you have to be very careful when when uh, when doing this it's some it's a look that i believe it should be it should be major in the in the fashion industry when it coming to america look it's it's a beautiful look and all we love the african vibe and we we, we see that in in dolce and gabbana i'm not sure maybe because it's a man of ethnicity or something like that i do not know what's going what goes on in bowman's head you know from african prints to african weave to 
American weave to um, to British uh, British look match them together and it just comes up with this gorgeous work <laughs> the most delicious recipe <laughs> Anyway, so I do not know where his mind traveled to when he was looking when he was designing the look, but it's beautiful. So I have a little bit of reservation. I said I wish the, the top is all round gold, all round gold top without the cutout, and the bottom is left the way it is, and that's just the classic African girl look. What do you think? <laughs> Anyway, so I love that it's gorgeous, it's beautiful, and um, and I just thought I would bring it to your attention. If you have any more say about it, please leave a comment below. It's between me. I'm not sure how I truly feel about it between love and hate, but I think it's love. I think it's love. I think it's love without if it had been without the cut out, but with the classic um gold top. You know the classic bomon um weave that we know, just at the top. Yes, and the bottom is left as it is. It's just gonna be. Mm. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to be a eat, but but we love that as well. There's nothing wrong with it. It's gorgeous and it's edgy, beautiful. And that's it. And and for the beauty look, again, barely there look. The makeup look is all barely there look. The models have the most of their hair were down, so they, they, they not, not too much were done with the makeup look. The focus is more on on the fashion, and I believe that's the beauty trend right now. You know, it's like. All natural look if you're going to put anything on in your face it's just a, a hint of pink lips yes just to add a bit of sexiness a hint of um pink blush you know to add a bit of sexiness and that's about it you know nothing in the high or anything like that it's a belly day natural belly day look and i believe um it's the way to go models have their hair down they have their hair down nothing much was done and that's the beauty look and that is it for uh, Bowman Runway. We love Bowman. The style looks are a it, it, it and we've picked the best of the style looks in today's video. Alright, so we now made a stop at Prada. We love Prada. Prada Prada was like back to back eats in the last two seasons. I'm not sure if you noticed. From the Prada bag to the pointy flat and all, that is, that's just Prada in its own way. And we all know Prada to be a very minimalist when it comes to its design, but with hint of edge here and there. And that is how it actually comes to you. It, be design, it, it, it designs its, um, its fashion pieces. And then when you look further, you see like a little sash on the side and all. And when you look a little bit further, you look at, you see the pointy, the, um, the pointy uh, flat with a little bit of um, detail uh something on top of it i do not know how what to how to express it you know when i'm not sure if you're aware of if you are like me or i'm sure we all have that growing up whereby we we use um, a piece of paper to to make different kind of things from airplanes to animals and all that's exactly what prada did with its um with its own with its pointy flat edge very edgy so he actually placed that gorgeous sort of imagination that we play with when we were younger he placed it right on top of the pointy flat and it's it's everything i mean the, 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 that flat is not going anywhere it remains forever classic and also we all know prada is very futuristic and um it's very minimal it's very minimal yet very edgy so we made a stop at the brand's website and he talked to, he talked about about the life uh, on on internet really about a life way a life guarded by a lot uh, with all greetings live guarded with all greetings and we all we all trying to catch up with it we're all kind of trying to catch up with it and all yet we do not want to lose that that stability we have from uh from our old-fashioned lifestyle but true because truly after all bridging after the all bridging going on going on right now we go back to our life and we just keep that life very very simple we we kick out the algorithm no algorithm here you understand what i mean so we're all trying to have that balance and that is exactly what um prada runway uh, um actually is that what it speaks yeah that is what it speaks all right so we, we wonder what are the spotted trend the first but well, the first thing we notice on the runway is that it's a mixture of futuristic and um and the past together mixture of futuristic and past so it, it actually designed like a very patent um silvery leather skirt yes and um it's like a line a line leather skirts with cut out and then it placed like a, a poplin shirt with sweater if something that is very old-fashioned a, a, a book warmer would, would usually wear and all and place the right on top of the skirt and everything and it, with with loafers on and all everything is just so beautiful and i love that mixture i love prada he's not a loud he's not a loud speaker but it speaks loud he speaks loud and we love that about the brand 
all right so you also designed um couture look as well couture look that we can wear as everyday wear and that is what you, it's like a fashion no a fashion you cannot do to yes i can you don't decide my fashion that's exactly what it did it would seem put a uh, design a couture dress and finish it with trainers or probably with flats and all you know that's what's trending right now i don't know Tra dress down look and all <laughs> like don't box me okay <laughs> and in the accessories we saw the bali flat we saw the pointy flat we saw loafers we saw bucket bag we saw the mary jane eels and we saw the dramatic eyewear the dramatic eyewear is just everything and i'm like you know is this something new very futuristic and everything it's so gorgeous and what reservation i said at my notes to prada i said prada i'm not wearing leggings with belt inserts I said I'm not wearing leggings with belt insert and a fitted top on top of it. What what look is that? <laughs> That's just so it looks so 70s, yeah? It looks so 70s and then you get I'm not wearing I'm not wearing uh, leggings with belt inserts so with fitted top fitted top on top of it. I'll wear the I can wear the belt leggings. I can wear the the fitted leggings with belt insert, but with blazer right on top oversized blazer on top of it but not with fitted top so that's the reservation i have <laughs> but then we have we know people who love to dress that way there's nothing wrong if you if you love that if you love that look and all but it's a no no for me <laughs> definitely not with the fitted top definitely not all right so for the beauty look we saw bold lips and we saw barely there look the barely there looks as well so bold lips it's either the model wear bold lips and nothing in the high and the, the model is on the runway or the model wears bare eyes bare lips everything together all bare and the model is on the runway that is how prada did its beauty look and i i'm telling you this um uh, barely day makeup look a makeup a makeup no makeup look is trending right now they all well do not be thrown off with that the natural look they they're all wearing makeup they just kept it very minimal yes they kept it very natural looking so that's the way it is a dab of lipstick just grab your lipstick <laughs> i'm telling you that is what's trending right now if you have a pink lipstick you know just take it and dab it on your lips that 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 and you're done <laughs> that's what's going on right now in the beauty in the beauty realm so barely they look oh go bold <laughs> and that's for Prada so we now made a stop at Versace I'm like you know ah, gosh we all know Versace I mean Versace from spring summer 2023 and 2024 we saw the the bubble the bubble blaze the bubble blazer the bubble dress the bubble skirt I'm not sure if you saw that that red patent um designed of uh, blazer look and all with all puffed up it's beautiful I'm like you know what I, I can see more of this coming coming through the season and all when I saw it I was so so happy and everything you know something very new for very modern and everything like that and then from there yeah, but, but, but the first she went from that look to designing with Fendi with the Fendi collaboration and the Versace visited its um, archive yes visited its archive came with um with its um, what's it called now the safety pin the gold safety pin detail in its dresses and all I'm like yes yes Versace can get it wrong we love Versace <laughs> So with that mood and that in my mind, I went straight into the spring summer 2025 runway and it was what? Where's Fasashi? <laughs> it looks like we're in Ola Johnson runway. Where is Fasashi runway? I couldn't find or ban Fasashi that we know. I couldn't find it. What happened? Usually when Fasashi plays with stuff like this, I mean the brand let's let's be let, let me just go straight to the point the brand played with with 70s look yes and on its runway which is not a bad thing we all know Versace to play with 70s but then Versace always had a modern touch to it my Versace to it you know the recipe is always so perfect and when it bats the design you'll be like Ooh, yes this is how you do it or if it decides to go to its archive and everything and it brings the design you'll be like you know what this is it's like a, an archive that fits in this modern is in this in this now time that is what Versace deal deals with classic that feels with at that fits into any time and all but then I, I went to the brand's runway and all I could see is 70s 
Okay, yes, I, I know you're trying to play with the 70s, but what is 2020? What does 2025 have to say in, you know, 2025 could not find any expression on the runway. It was just 70s, 70s inside 70s. Ah, ew, Versace, no, that's not you. <laughs> no, what happened? You usually play, you play with with 70s, 70s look like this, but it's, the runway will also be filled with a lot of urban look, a lot of classic uh, archived look, a lot, a lot something to you how you always have something to bring but it's a, i'm not blown away i was not blown away yeah the brand played with color with bow like blue and and um and um lemon orange yes like this soft pastel blue with lemon orange together and it's it played with prints with um the, the 70s print and all we all know the 70s show so if you want to see the 70s show in display go to versace spring summer 2025 that's exactly what the brand did and i was not blown away i'm not looking forward to wearing the brand's um spring summer 2025 collection and i'm sure i'm not the only person in this in this mess i was my mood, my mood was, uh, I was a little bit disappointed. But anyway, we spotted some trend for those that love the 70s look and um, they do not want a touch of 2025 in it. Okay, this is what, um, this is what um, Versace brought to us. Versace brought us the 70s vibe. Uh, we saw the share. It, uh, it played with share. Share is trending right now. It played with print. It played with metallics. The only the only fashion staples that actually stole my attention on the runway that actually had a bit of um, joy to me in on the runway is the metallic dress. The metallic dresses. I think there are about three dresses um, Versace designed in in metallic, and it carried that lemon um, the lemon um, shade that the lemon color that we that it's played with whatever it is in its color wheel so it carried that lemon and it's lemon and it's metallic and i love it that's very modern that's very modern and very 70s so i wonder yeah we're in era whereby we play we love vintage and all but modern vintage modern vintage that is where i see that is what i see i'm not sure I, how many I'm, have you seen many people wearing a lot of vintage look recently no on run from runway to red carpets and all even if they dive into to archives and all it's something that fits into now you know it never it's never so so vintage this is just too vintage for me um it doesn't speak too much of modern but the metallic dress yes get that one there, there are two metallic dresses one is print one is in the print from and one is more like um the, the it's sequin yeah like like squared sequin put together this is gorgeous i love this i'll buy this and i'll recommend it to anyone it's a gorgeous style look and i love the way the model finished the look with just black heels and black paws and um little to no belly demi cup with also like a with jewelry dangly chunky jewelry like earrings alone but black yeah dark a very dark um that jewelry so let's yeah the second metallic dress i saw as well that's very it's very old-fashioned but yet speaks of now it's that it's that one has a bit of, of print it's like the purple purple and lemon mixed prints and it's sequin it's so gorgeous i love the i love the bag the box bag it's like a clutch and box design and i love the um the clay moves yeah it's it's a perfect match i love the style look that's so beautiful what are that where's the third oh yeah then then the skirt there was a, a beautiful metallic uh, sequin skirt there as well like squared shaped skirt also gorgeous it's gold it's a gold it looks like gold and lemon and all it looks so gorgeous i'll definitely recommend those metallic look but other than that i, I didn't nothing much blew me away although it's not like they're not wearable of course they're wearable i love the blazer the blue blazer with the lemon um, with the lemon yellow um uh, uh, polo shirt polo shirt is trending is it polo shirt or poplin poplin not polo sorry with poplin shirt and then shorts yeah with printed shorts and all you know with then when then it's finished it was finished with like um uh, what's it called now platforms yeah platforms as well as like a very vintage bag and everything it's gorgeous i love that that sort of look and everything so when it comes to styling with when it comes to styling and all i love that it's just that i do not like the fact that they went too into into the 70s too deep to me you know i it just didn't i mean i want a mixture of everything mixture of this look and also modern look as well as versace versace archives and all that is what versace does all the time anyway the beauty look is bold lips yes bold lips and everything so let's go let's go to my notes and let me let you know what i uh what we feel about it so for the uh, um the 
for uh, for the for the tra spotted trend I've mentioned the share, I've mentioned the print, and for the accessories, there's a top handle bag, there's vintage bags, a top top handle vintage bags. Yes, there is a pointy heels and there's platforms, and that's the accessories, the, the trending accessories. And for the beauty looks, just simply bold lips, a burgundy, burgundy red bold lips, and that's it. And then for our, our reservation, I said uh not blown away with the design. I said there's a there, there is there was this low waisted um cropped trousers that we saw and it's i just believe it, it's that's not gonna do anything to my body or anyone's body even even if you're skinny because the model that wore it it's really fit her body and everything but then looking at her i was not attracted to it i didn't wish i'm skinny you know because there are some looks you see and you wish you're skinny so you can fit into that look but this time i didn't wish i'm skinny it's just it low waisted with cropped with cropped how how would that work <laughs> anyway I love Fasashi. Fasashi, I love you so much. Please, please <laughs> bear with me. So, and I said, um, I think fashion lovers are interested in the 70s in 2025, but not 70s in 70s. Yeah, and that's it. And that's the look. So, well, we love the air style. The air style is gorgeous. It's the trends to pay attention to when you're looking for a style. It's like a bang. Yes. So, a bang with, um, with the back down or just all the way bob with bang in the front. That's trending right now. All right, and then the final runway that we made a stop is at Louis. So we've made a stop at Louis. We all know Louis comes with everything edgy. It has to be edgy or you go home. You know, from the last season's um sunglasses, we we saw the kittish um sunglasses and um we saw the the lipstick yield um sandals as well as the rose petal the rose uh, yes rose yield sandals and all. What else does Louis do? We all know Louis is always very edgy and the brand always brings something out that you know we always look forward to. Although this season i didn't see much apart from the sunglasses which is it's not bad you know yeah they actually played with this agi way very similar to um to uh, to the, the, the brother's eye type of eyewear so it's so gorgeous so maybe that's that's the only thing everyone will look out look forward to not that there's there isn't much to look forward to there there are but as for I, as far as I'm concerned, I love the dramatic eyewear and it's something I look for. I love the loafers and all. Anyway, so let's go to the spotted trend. So the spot, uh, the spotted trend with leather, sequin, cape, um, cape jacket. We saw the um cape dresses. We saw the whimsical dresses and all. And we saw power suiting. We saw baggy shorts. I love the baggy shorts. I can wear the baggy shorts. I can wear the power suiting. This whimsical dresses. I can wear bono. I Where will I wear it to now? Because it has this um exaggerated finish at the bottom that makes it very wide at the bottom and all but that's the edge to it if you're not afraid to wear that it's beautiful i love 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 the cape dresses the cape dresses is everything from sequin from sequin design to just the matte matte fabric and everything it's so gorgeous although the length is a bit scary though the length is just going to be showing my butt my butt cheeks i'm not sure if i want to show that Anyway, but if if the brand can, uh, I don't know if the brand can make you know work on the length and all, and make it wearable because not everyone would want to walk on the street like that and everything, you know. So we want something a little bit lengthy. I mean, it can be, it can still be mini. We want the mini, but at least with covered bum, yeah, with covered buttocks. We do not want our buttocks out. So that's the only reservation I have the about the cape dresses. Cape jacket is also trending as well. So keep an eye on that. It was trending on the brands one way and i look forward to the brands the baggy shorts i love baggy shorts and the, the brand played with it and um yeah for the accessories the brand played with dramatic eyewear the brand played with loafers and the brand also played with brooks so that those are trending right now brooks are still going strong loafers are going strong and the dramatic highway i mean we look forward to that dramatic highway it's just the, it's the future of fashion oh gosh future, the future is now the future is now okay <laughs> i love that and um all right so what the reservation do we have just one not so much we do not like the skinny trousers i mean we're in the era where skinny jeans is a no-no anymore we we now deeply and passionately hate skinny jeans <laughs> We're in era where baggy jeans and anything baggy is trending and then Louis came up with some skinny trousers Although it's not jeans but tailored trousers but in a skinny way and with t-shirt on top The look is beautiful and everything but I'm just a little bit afraid how people are going to welcome it How would they welcome it? 
because I'm not I'm not going to go for skinny. I'm not going for any skinny trousers this season. Not in many seasons to come. In the meantime, let anything skinny trousers go away and baggy come in. Okay. <laughs> All right, so these are all the spotted trend on the on the on our favorite uh, designers runway spring summer 2025 collection. So without wasting too much of time, let's look into all the best looks from the spring summer 2025 runway.
right guys so we've come to the end of today's video i hope today's video is really fun and i hope you've been inspired by all the style looks on the runway and i hope you caught the spirit because that's very important catch the anointing because that i mean from bombon's runway to prada to um to, to dolce and gabbana this season out of all the five brand designers that we've mentioned in today's video bombon and dolce and gabbana they they follow their own sound they followed their own sound and they gave us new trend and everything and we love it you know anyway so do not forget to visit covetsmagazines.com and that's covetsmagazines.com you will definitely have fun when you get there image courtesy goes to all the brands mentioned today from louis to prada to fasashi to um, dolce and gabbana to bormon and all the images all image courtesy goes to them and do not forget we covet fashion we covered fashion <laughs> and I'll see you in our next video Bye.